This is an Instant Presenter tutorial on the Account Manager specifically for new users. The Account Manager is the first screen you see when you log in, and here we have our first meeting room. First things first, let's go ahead and change the name from the default My Meeting Room by clicking Edit Settings. Right up at the top here, we're going to change it from My Meeting Room to let's say Wednesday's Big Meeting. This is going to change the name of the meeting room and any subsequent meetings that I schedule for it. Click Update here to change. And we see the meeting room's name has been changed. Next thing we want to upload some slides via this Upload Slides button. So we can show these during the live meeting. We'll click, click Browse right here. Find the PowerPoint deck we want to upload. And put that in the Browse field. We almost always want to toggle this Preserve PowerPoint Animations toggle directly above it, just to be safe, and click the Upload button. After a short upload and conversion process, you'll get a screen just like this one that says congratulations, your slides have been uploaded and converted. Now we could preview the slides next if we wanted to or we can return to the account manager. Well next what we're going to want to do is send some invitations so we can get people on our meeting. But instead of doing it here, I'll show you how to do it from the front page. Just click here on the Schedule Meetings and Send Invites button and this will take us to the invitation screen. We can set a date, a time, a duration, and our time zone which will by default be your computer's time zone. Now if you wanted to use our My Webinar Hub, you can click this Make Public button. But that's for a later tutorial and we're not going to do that here. Here are our email lists. You're going to include the email addresses of all attendees that you would like to invite to your meetings. This is who you'll be actually sending these invites out to. And if you have anybody who you'd like to join you to help with the actual presentation, you can put their email address here as a fellow presenter. Their link will have them log in with presenter rights already. You can change the subject of the email and the message. I'll just go ahead and write, please come to my meeting right here. And if I had any conference call information, I could put it here. Now, I could immediately send out this invite to those email addresses if I wanted to, or include a registration form by clicking Next. But that's for a later tutorial, and for now, we're just going to go ahead and send that invitation out. Now that the invitations have been sent, we'd be able to start the meeting at the appropriate time. Let's go back out to the account manager now and take a little deeper look around. First up, up at this tab up here is the Meeting Manager, a very useful area, so let's take a look. In the Meeting Manager, you'll see that we have a list of all upcoming meetings that have been scheduled and any meetings that have already occurred in the past. If I wanted to schedule a new meeting, I could do so here, as well as from that front page I showed you. And by clicking on the name of any meeting, I can go to the Meeting Details page, where I can invite more people to that specific meeting, email them, get useful URLs to send out, and all sorts of reports from down here at these tabs. Let's head back out to the main page again, this time via the My Account tab. Next, let's take a look at the Recordings page. This is where all the recordings are going to appear once you make them. As we see, we have one recording here. We can play it. Here's the important URL to send out to anybody that you'd like to view this recording. And by clicking down here, this Manage Registration Form link, we're actually taken to the meeting details for that recording. You're going to see we have a recording specific URL there. You can invite people to view the recording, email attendees, everything that you could have done for an upcoming or past meeting. And back at the account manager, we can create new meeting rooms. We can upload any additional comp content besides just that original PowerPoint slide to our content library. And that's pretty much where you want to put it. And change our meeting rooms to look however we like in the branding area. By now, you should know your way around the account manager and be able to set up and schedule your very first Instant Presenter meeting.